homesickness is a thing, unfortunately, but it is manageable. Do not stay at home. Go out, have fun. Do as much as you can. Do not sleep because you're tired. Sleep when you're tired. <laughs> I'm not saying that, but um, unfortunately, homesickness is you kind of do get tired, you feel tired all the time, like exhausted. Um, try to go to bed earlier, get up in the morning, go exercise. Try, try to exercise. Even if you just go for a walk, I promise you, you will come back and feel more refreshed and feel like you can handle this day. And then you go out and you do something fun. Uh, do it with friends or do it by yourself. Sign yourself up for as much as you can. Volunteer work, if you like animals. Um, clubs, join uh, sports clubs or book reading clubs or go to the gym, join the gym. Do as much as you can. You will say yes. You will not know if you like something until you try it. And then it is try it at least once. If you don't like it, then you'll be like, okay, well, at least I tried it. I don't really like it. Uh, you don't have to do it again. I like pickleball. I hated tennis in school, but pickleball, I love pickleball. I love going out with friends and just playing pickleball. It's exercising a little, it's fun, it's social. And I have met so many people because I joined a pickleball club. Um, then book the trip. <laughs> Try to book some trips, um, even if it's just like a road trip or anything, because in the hard times, you're going to be like, yes, I just need to, I just need to hold out until the 13th of July when I go to Seattle. And then for a weekend or a week, things are just going to be better for a while. Um, and you're going to be, I'm going to be excited for this. Uh, book the trip because in the down when it's going when it's things are hard and you're missing home a lot you're gonna think about the trip and you're gonna be like okay well yeah I cannot give up now I have this trip coming up and I don't want to lose that money and I'm gonna have so much fun so yeah I'm excited for the trip I cannot wait for the trip that helps and then lastly with this you kind of gotta find your groove me personally I cannot phone my family every single day. It makes me more depressed because it makes me feel like I'm missing out on a life over there. I'm here doing nothing, sat in my room, and my family is living their lives, and I'm not part of it. So it makes me feel very left out. Even though I have the be I have a good life here too, there are just days that's more down than up, and that is normal. So. Me, personally, I cannot speak to my family. I can text them, uh, but I cannot call them every single day or talk to them for four hours or an hour or two hours every day and think that it's gonna help me because it's it, it doesn't help me. Um, it, it's better, especially, especially if you are a little homesick, because speaking to them um, sometimes does make it worse. I'm not saying don't speak to them at all, but try to not call them every single day. That works for me. But I also know girls that get depressed or sad when they do not speak to their family and calls them like every single day and that helps them to them that feels like they are part of, still part of their lives. So this one kind of depends on you. Figure it out. If you feel like speaking to your family makes you feel worse, I promise you they're gonna understand if you call them a little bit less because they don't want you to cry in your room. They want you to have fun and enjoy this experience. And if you feel like not speaking to them all that much makes it harder, then try to speak to them a little more then. This is, this is what works for you.